later, truck. See you later, truck. Yo, watch the truck go fast. Making a quick run to Lowe's. Got my little helper today. It's big. It's big? It's not big. It's just a camera. Small. Small. I cut it. I cut it. Then we're going to cut it. That's right. We're going to take it home. We're going to cut it. Today we're going to try to put something on the wall to take over where we took the carpet off the wall. And this is a plan B or C, I guess, is this aluminum we bought. The problem is this is very thin metal. I don't know if you can see the indentions or not, but it's very easily dented. And I knew that was a risk with this stuff, um, but we're just trying to at least get a feel for what looks good, what we like. Put this on the wall, worst case, we'll get some thick aluminum and put that on the wall. Another problem is it's super cold and so really trying to heat up the airstream so that the glue will stick to the aluminum. So everything's cut out, cut the size. Um, we're gonna take it over, do a straight edge cut over here. So that's where it's gonna stop. Another problem we've been working with this morning is how to make this flip down table work. This is originally off of the dinette. We wanted to reuse as many things as we could from the original dinette. But the problem is this was not really meant to flip out from the wall. With the original dinette, it kind of I guess it did flip out, but it was more made and built with a lot of weight on it to just sit down on the dinette as flexibility. So it didn't like hinge down. It like stayed up top and then just came down to where it needed to come down to. Okay, walls prepped. Uh, you can see all the holes that are in this wall. It's insane. <laughs> so many holes. I just really don't think it was salvageable. So we've got it smoothed out, it's prepped, and uh, Bob's starting to put glue on it. The wall is in. I didn't expect it to be perfect. I didn't think it would be perfect. That's one of the reasons. I mean, this is like a, you know, one or two hour job, 20 bucks in material. So it's like, do I take a risk and spend 150 bucks on aluminum and have to cut something heavier and figure out whether or not we like the aluminum at all? Or do I get the cheap stuff and take a risk with that? So we took a risk with this. It's hard to see on the camera, but there's definitely like some dents and waves from like all the stuff underneath that was going on and then there were a couple of dents let's see you got a couple of dents if you can see that or not there's one dent right in here so not perfect but i feel like still worth it to put it up see what it looks like and then we'll make a decision later on whether or not we're going to keep this piece or if we're going to put something heavier in here but I, I do like the metal i think it looks good anytime you can bring the outside in I think it's nice. Still need to get transitions for this. So one of the concerns I know I've had, and I'm sure other people have had about swapping out the uh, carpet for the aluminum on the wall is, man, will it insulate like it did before? Um, I will say this, and I haven't, I don't think I brought this up. You actually have two inches at least, maybe two and a half of insulation between the outside wall and the inside wall. So it's not like the carpet's the only insulation, but you know, it's logic that it would at least likely help with insulation. I have checked using my infrared thermometer and it's like a one degree difference. So I don't even know if that's enough to say it's a drastic difference in temperature. I, I could see maybe if you had the whole RV in aluminum versus this, especially in the summer, if it's hot, if it's coming through the windows, maybe reflecting off of that, that kind of thing, maybe it would make a difference in the summer. But right now in the winter, I'm not seeing a huge difference in the two. So we got this bedding from a company called Betty's. Let me show you what this does. So this bedding comes an all-in-one. So it's a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, and your bedspread. It just fits around your bed like a fitted sheet. It also comes with these pillowcases. So two pillowcases and then two of your shams. There's a zipper on the side and it zips down almost like a sleeping bag type, <laughs> but it's got this extra um, fabric on the side that makes it you know, cover on the side so you're not technically like a sleeping bag. This is super soft. If you have kids and you see their minky blankets, this is exactly what a minky blanket feels like. And it's got all that on the inside. 
And then when you get out of bed, just to make it, you're just gonna zip it back up. So oh, that's what I'm talking about. Pretty cool. <laughs> Less time making your bed <laughs> and more time doing things that you love. Now there is a zipper on the other side as well. I mean, it's really well made. It's the zippers and the fabric is really nice. They have other color options as well. I really liked this modern gray. I felt like it went with, it's the perfect gray that we picked for, for our Airstream. And I think part of what would really come in handy, we can still walk around our bed here, but there's still parts in the back that are kind of tricky to get to. But if you've got to constantly be putting a fitted sheet on there and you know, when, especially when you have to make your bed, it's a pain to reach things in a bed. And some people might have a bed that's in the corner. And so this saves the trouble of having to constantly be reaching over there and tucking that in and figuring out how to make the bed from an awkward position. Mm -hmm. And that happens a lot in an RV. Speaking of that, they also make these in toddler mm -hmm. sizes. So we've got one for Hensley's space as well. And I think it's going to come in really handy because her bed is very difficult to make because it's her bed is made out of the closet area so yeah. it's it's very tight so this is the toddler size it fits a toddler bed um it's the same concept it zips down the side it's got that same minky material just really thick and well made soft and look how easy that is i'm not gonna have to be reaching over trying to make the bed you just flip it up and zip it in and bed made. So we're really excited to actually get to sleep in these. They feel so soft and amazing. I think they're gonna be great for the Airstream. This is Betty's, B-E-D-D-Y-S. We'll put a link in the description if you guys wanna check uh, their website out, but they've got some really great options. And we'll let you know an update once we get to sleep in it, because I'm super excited to have our first night in our Airstream with our super comfortable bedding. You like your bed? Ah. Ah. Sweet. Sweetie time. Good night. Get under the covers. Ah. <laughs> and take there you go. Oh yeah. Oh, so comfy, Hensley. Take a nap. Turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. <sighs> Is the guy supposed to sleep in here? It needed fur. It's perfect now, right? <laughs> so we did finish up the table. Um, well, simple. well, I say finish up. It's not totally done yet. <laughs> um, we, we're still touching it up and painting it and everything else. It's what we wanted, so mm -hmm. I think it's pretty cool. Because we can have this out when we want to eat, we want to work, or we can put it away when we want to save on space. I think it turned out really good. We actually used this table from the dinette that was already here, so we just reused it. We tried to use as much of the dinette as we could in different pieces around everywhere, but and then donated the rest to our neighbor. So basically, I mean, it does what you think a hinge table would do. This just folds up in here, the table comes down, and then goes against the wall. Some of the stuff we we're looking to do that we can still do, this couch comes out. Let's see, I think I can get it out now. So the couch comes out into a bed, and we wanted to make sure that, you know, none of that interfered with this. And we also wanted the option of, we want it to feel open if we have people coming over, then we can have our two benches here for seating space. You could comfortably sit, you know, I don't know, six, six or seven people in here, I'd say, with this setup, uh, which is what we were going for. It totally opens up the space. Basically, there are different modes. You've got this mode, which is probably the most open mode. You've got where we could scoot this here, and then say have this swung around here to go with the table. And this, and I've still got to fix that outlet too, but <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff that's not finished. This, this could be a play area for Hensley. If we wanted that to be a play area, she could have some stuff here, some stuff here. Of course, you got the typical option of this table can come up and then the leg can come out. And you've got your table here with your bench seat here. So you've got seating here. And then we're not sure yet what we're going to do on Hensley. I'm going to figure something out on the bench or if I'm going to have something here that'll fold up and go behind the couch. We're still kind of working on that, figuring that part out. It's flexible. 
pretty simple. Worst case, if something doesn't work, we got to move it around, do something different. We're not like crazy into it as far as the money on these benches or the table or any of that stuff. We could still probably take all this out and swap it out with something else if we get the urge, <laughs> which happens sometimes. But um, we're gonna know. try it out and we're gonna see yeah. how how it goes having something simple but with flexibility. Mm -hmm. opening up the space we're getting there um, we've still got definitely some finishing touches we need to do in here but it's feeling warmer it's feeling uh livable and you can kind of have an easier time visualizing for us at least i know visualizing what the finished product's going to look like right, we're going to call it a day and we'll uh catch you guys later